Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a 3D page flip animation as shown here. So without any further ado, let's get started. Create a new composition with the width and height 90, 20 by 1080 pixels. Now we need to create a new composition with the width and height 400 by 600 pixels. With the page 1 composition layer selected in the project panel, press Ctrl D to make a copy of it. In the same way, make some more copies. Here I have created about 10 copies. Now right click on the project panel and let's create a new folder and name it images and let's import the images into this folder to keep them organized. Now double click on the project panel and import any of the 10 images for the 10 composition layers each for one composition. Now with all the images selected, drag and drop them on the images folder. Now we got all the images inside the folder. Now open the page one comp. Select any one of the image and then drag and drop it on the timeline panel. Open the page 2 comp and add another image. In the same way, upload each and every image in each and every composition. Adjust its size to fit it perfectly with the help of scale tool. Open the page 3 comp and add another image. And repeat the same process for the other compositions as well. Here we have uploaded 10 pictures in all the 10 composition layers. Now head back to the main composition and drag the page 1 comp into the timeline panel from the project panel. Now with that layer selected, select the pan behind tool and drag the anchor point to the right side like this. Now hit Ctrl Home on the keyboard to adjust the anchor point right at the center of the composition. Now we need to convert it into a 3D layer by clicking on this checkbox right here. Now press R to open its rotation property and adjust its Y rotation to minus 180 degrees. And then come 15 frames forward on the timeline and adjust the Y axis rotation to 0 degrees. So this is the animation that we have got as of now. Here its orientation needs to be corrected. To do so, go to the page 1 composition. At here, select the image layer and right click on it. Now go to transform properties and click on flip horizontal. Now if we head back to the main composition, now the image looks properly oriented. Now here if you notice, the page flip is very rigid. Normally a magazine or a paper has a curvature movement when we flip a page. So to add a curvature animation to the page, make sure the renderer is set to cinema 4D. Sorry I forgot to say it at the beginning. Open the page properties and go to the geometry options and here if you increase or decrease the curvature you can see the curvature movement on the page so come to the first frame and adjust the curvature value to 0 and add a keyframe and then come 4 frames forward and adjust the value to 50 and then come to the 10th frame and adjust the value to minus 50 and finally come to the 15th frame and set the curvature value to 0 so yeah this is what we have got as of now now drag the page 2 comp into the timeline panel. Now hide the page 1 layer for a moment. So this time set the anchor point to the left side as shown here. And hit Ctrl Home on the keyboard to adjust the anchor point right at the center of the composition. Now press R to open its rotation properties. Now come to the 10th frame and add a keyframe on Y-axis rotation. And then come 15 frames forward on the timeline and let's give it a 180 degrees rotation. Now we can unhide the page 1 layer. Here if you notice the page 2 layer is overlapping at the beginning for about 1 frame. To get rid of that, select the page 1 layer and open its rotation properties and here on the first y axis keyframe, change the y rotation value from minus 180 degrees to minus 179.99 degrees. Now we got the page 1 layer at the top. So this is what we have got as of now. Now copy the page 1 geometry options by pressing Ctrl C and now select the page 2 layer and place the playhead on the first keyframe position and press Ctrl V to paste the geometry options. Now we got the curvature effect on the page 2 layer as well. Being on the page 2 layer, 
press ctrl D to duplicate the layer. Select the layer beneath it. Hold the alt key on the keyboard and drag the page 3 composition onto the page 2 layer at the bottom. So that replaces the page 2 composition with the page 3 composition. Now press here to open its keyframes. Select all of those keyframes and move them few frames forward on the timeline. And then at the end, we'll get a problem like this here. Page 2 is overlapping page 3 at the end. So again, to get rid of this problem, on the second keyframe of Y axis rotation, change it from 180 degrees to 179.99 degrees. Now press Ctrl D to duplicate the layer. Now hold the Alt key and drag the page 4 comp from the project panel onto the layer. Now move all those keyframes a little bit forward on the timeline. And on the last keyframe of Y axis, change the value from 179.99 degrees to 179.98 degrees. Duplicate the layer and do the same with the page file layer as well. So this time change the value from 179.98 degrees to 179.97 degrees. Here we have created a 5 pages flip animation. Now we need to add the backset pages as well. To do so, select the page 1 comp layer and then place the play hit from where its backset page appears. And by being on that frame, press Ctrl D to make a copy of it. And from the top layer, trim out the layer which is on the left side of the playhead as shown here. By being on that layer, hold the Alt key and drag the page 6 composition onto that layer. Now you can see the front and back side pages with two different images. Do the same with the page 2 layer as well. Come to the frame where the back side page appears. By being on that frame, press Ctrl D to make another copy of the layer. Now trim out the left side area from the duplicated layer as shown here. Now hold the Alt key and drag the page 7 comp onto it. So now we need to repeat the same process for the other layers as well. So yeah, we are done here. So this is the animation that we have got. But the backside pages orientation needs to be corrected. For example, select this image. Double click on that layer to enter into its composition. Now select the image layer. Right click on it. Go to transform and flip it horizontally. So this gets our job done. Do the same thing for the other backside pages. If you want to animate it, you can do it by using a null object. To do so, Select all of the image layers and pre-compose them. Now here, create a new null object. Now we need to make the null object a 3D layer and paint in the pre-comp layer to the null object. Press R to open its rotation properties and add a keyframe at the beginning on its default values. And then come few frames forward on the timeline and adjust the values according to your choice. Experiment different values until you get the best results. And then come to the 2 second frame and let's give it a default value settings. Select all of the first keyframes and easy ease out them. And for the last keyframes, give the easy ease in curve. You can also add a background to make the animation look very attractive. So yeah, this is the final preview. I hope you found this video helpful and thank you so much for watching.